in this video, we're going to show you how to calculate the volume of multiple stockpiles with one volume DTM calculation. Step one, ensure you have two sets of strings, one for the base and one for the top. So the next step, you are going to want to have a DTM for the base and a DTM for the top. Now it's important to mention here that you should not yet clip your DTMs. So after you've created a DTM, you must remember to save each one. Again, the top DTM is also left unclipped. Once you have two DTMs, you can then go to surfaces, volumes, and net volume between DTMs. Once you've selected the top and base DTMs, you will need to select a boundary string. In this case, it's string number one of the base DTM. After all the information has been entered correctly, you can then generate your report. Now you can see the report that because we used the single DTM method and selected a boundary string, all of the individual stockpiles are listed as segments. So the only problem now is that you do not know which segment number belongs to which stockpile. So for that, you will go to inquire segment properties and then select a stockpile and in the text window it will give you the segment number you can then check that number with your generated report to see what the volume is of that stockpile once you are ready to plot you can then clip these segments and that is how they will appear on the plot. So to plot, go to plotting tab, select auto plot. Now to get the images to show and appear on your plot correctly, select the raster data checkbox. So once you're happy with everything, you will then press F2 and your plot will be created. Once ready, you can then add your volumes to the plot and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching another Serpak video by Aerial Surveying. Thank you.